if your printer is stuck on the hp logo i'm going to show you two steps to be able to fix this issue and then uh, show you how to reset the firmware and how to reset your cartridge so that the problem can be solved and if that doesn't solve it i'll, I'll also give you another step how to fix the problem through your logic but so stay tuned This is a HP M127 and it's stuck on the HP logo. The first thing we're going to do is to reset the firmware. Just hold on to this particular area and power on your printer and that is going to reset the MVR of your logic board of the printer. So I'll just hold on to this and it will start initializing and it will reset the firmware of the printer. But before you do this, there are a few steps here you can take to help you resolve the issue because this can also be a minor issue like replacing your cartridge replacing the sensor on your cartridge that can also cause the your printer to hang on the hp logo but if after replacing your cartridge the problem is still the same i will you cannot reset your firmware so if you reset your firmware and that didn't stop it the, the next thing we're going to do is to um work on the logic board so make sure your your system the printer is powered off and you replace the casing on the left hand side of of the printer so this area is where you are going to remove so that we get access to the logic board because we are going to be replacing the logic board right now So this is what the logic board looks like here you can see the one that's here that is a sub board and then we have this one here which is the main logic board and you have to be very careful when removing all of these flakes they are very very important and you don't want to damage any of them so i will just carefully remove them and then so that we'll be able to get access to the logic board So I'll take out um, about three screws that is holding down the, the logic board and ensure you remove all the cables that is attached to, to the logic board carefully so that it doesn't damage or break anyone because they are all very important. If they don't communicate anymore, the printer will come up with another kind of problem again. So this is what the logic board looks like. I'm going to be replacing this because obviously this, this is bad. If yours is under warranty, you don't have to go through all this process. Just return it back and then you to sort out the problem for you. But this is out of warranty, so I have to do all I can to repair it so that I can continue using this. So I'm going to be replacing it with this logic board. So don't forget about the Wi-Fi card that is attached to the logic board so that you'll be able to you can connect your system wirelessly also because this is a wire uh, a wireless printer and the card is very important for that function. So I'll just attach all the cables back the way it was before and and power on the printer so 
So like I said earlier, if you encounter problems like this, the first thing you want to check is your cartridge. Replace your cartridge. Sometimes a sensor on your cartridge might be the cause of this. From the cartridge, if that doesn't solve the problem, then you can go ahead and reset the firmware like I did. Hold down the right arrow key before powering on your printer. Once you hold down your thumb on that area, you can power on your your printer, it will reset the firmware of, of the printer. So we'll do a test print now and you can see that the printer is starting up normally before it will have been stuck on this um, logo forever without initializing. So I'll put in the paper there now and we'll do a test print. Okay, you can see. Everything is fine. Thank you for watching.